Hi, I'd like to compare three pieces of software viewing the same data, namely the time series provincial data um, for the Harvard University and Fudan University's China Historical GIS. Um, well, the first piece of software is the um, ESRI, ArcGIS Explorer. Um, well, first of all, I couldn't figure out how to move um, both the boundaries and the capitals through time at the same time. So we have to do that one at a time, and that in itself makes it difficult to figure out where the capitals are in relation to the boundaries. And now another problem is that um, the only way you can input the time in years is through this slider. And as you slide the slider, um, not every year is covered, but even stranger, you can see the year going up to 419 now, and now it goes back to 290. So there's some kind of retrogress sometimes as you move the slider to the right. And another problem is that even at the slowest speed, when you do an animation by clicking this button, it just goes too fast. Okay, um, uh, if you want to process information, it's uh, you know with your eyes, it's, it's really hard because it goes really fast. There it goes again. Okay. Uh, the second software uh, we'll we are looking at is Google Earth, the latest version, which I believe is version 7. Um, well, visually it looks the best, um, and here it's in three-dimensional mode. Um, and, you know, um, here's the time slider. Once again, just like the ESRI software, the only way you can input the year into this viewer is through this slider. And um, although the nice thing is that um, it doesn't retrogress like S3, it still skips years. 2.23 here, and then 2.30, and then uh, 2.37, so on and so forth. Um, and the problem is that sometimes there are changes um, that are more fine-grained than that. It, does, it doesn't catch it. Okay, but another thing about Google Earth is that even though you can uh, move both the boundaries and the point locations of the capitals of the provinces together, it's still not clear uh, where the locations of the um, point locations of the capitals are because they don't make the place markers that clear and. Um, Another thing is that if you animate, it goes really fast, even at the slowest speed. This is the slowest speed. It goes even faster than um, ESRI, and you can't really process the um, display with your eyes, see? And another thing about these uh, two existing pieces of software, namely both the ESRI and the Google Earth, is that um, you can't choose what to display, so it displays just Chinese characters, um, you know, uh, for for the historical data. That is, um, so if you don't read Chinese characters, you're you're out of luck. Okay. I'll clear view one. It's actually a no nonsense viewer, <coughs> um, where it shows nothing but the contents of the database, no base map or anything like that. Um, and as you can see, um, you can see very clearly where you know each capital is, like that's the capital of that province and so on. Um, and as you go up in years, which you can go year by year, um, because a year is a resolution of that CHGIS um, Database as you you can go up year by year without uh, you know skipping years like Google Earth and S3 software they, 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 they skip time steps but as you go up just a couple of years you'll see that suddenly this capital jumped up where it doesn't really belong okay um, so that's what um, suddenly prompted me to look for uh, mistakes in this database in the CHGIS provincial uh, time series database and in fact um, the rate at which you have this kind of um, 
inconsistency where the where the provinces um, <coughs> capitals are outside the boundaries the the rate of um, inconsistency is um, approximately 23 percent it turns out interestingly enough and this is something the database owners uh, never knew before apparently um, so you see I can go up um, in years like this um, by either using this slider this dial or I can put in any year I want I can type in you know 1375 and it will show me this map um, you cannot do that with the other two viewers or at least not that I know how um, and as you can see <coughs> There again is an instance where you have a capital that's not inside <coughs> its boundary. Um, so anyway, um, actually to show you a little more about my viewer, you can show the prefectures or counties or uh, regimes by clicking on these. See, like here you have um, a lot more data suddenly. Okay. Um, there you go. <laughs> okay, I think 